أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Hameem By the book that makes things clear We sent it down during a blessed night For we ever wish to warn against evil In that night is made distinct every affair of wisdom Command from our presence For we ever send revelations As a mercy from your Lord For he hears and knows all things The Lord of the heavens and the earth, and all between them, if you but have an assured faith. There is no God but He. It is He who gives life and gives death, the Lord and cherisher to you and your earliest ancestors. Yet they play about in doubt. Then watch you for the day that the sky will bring forth a kind of smoke or mist plainly visible, enveloping the people. This will be a penalty grievous. They will say, Our Lord, remove the penalty from us, for we do really believe. How shall the message be effectual for them, seeing that a messenger explaining things clearly has already come to them? Yet they turn away from him and say, Tutored by others, a man possessed. We shall indeed remove the penalty for a while, but truly, You will revert to your ways. One day we shall seize you with a mighty onslaught. We will indeed then exact retribution. We did before them try the people of Pharaoh. There came to them a messenger most honorable, saying, Restore to me the servants of Allah. I am to you a messenger worthy of all trust. And be not arrogant as against Allah, for I come to you with authority manifest. For me, I have sought safety with my Lord and your Lord against your injuring me. If you believe me not, at least keep yourselves away from me. But they were aggressive. Then he cried to his Lord, These are indeed a people given to sin. The reply came, March forth with my servants by night, for you are sure to be pursued. And leave the sea as a furrow, divided, for they are a host destined to be drowned. How many were the gardens and springs they left behind, and cornfields and noble buildings, and wealth and conveniences of life, wherein they had taken such delight. Thus was their end, and we make other people inherit those things. And neither heaven nor earth shed a tear over them, nor were they given a respite again. We did deliver aforetime the children of Israel from humiliating punishment, inflicted by Pharaoh, for he was arrogant even among inordinate transgressors. And we chose them aforetime above the nations knowingly, and granted them signs in which there was a manifest trial. As to these Quraysh, they say forsooth, there is nothing beyond our first death, and we shall not be raised again. Then bring back our forefathers, if what you say is true. What, are they better than the people of Tubba, and those who were before them? We destroyed them because they were guilty of sin. We created not the heavens, the earth, and all between them merely in idle sport. We created them not except for just ends, but most of them do not understand. Verily, the day of sorting out is the time appointed for all of them. The day when no protector can avail his client in aught, and no help can they receive, except such as receive Allah's mercy, for he is exalted in might, most merciful. Verily, the tree of Zakkum will be the food of the sinful. Like molten brass, it will boil in their insides like the boiling of scalding water. A voice will cry, Seize you him, and drag him into the midst of the blazing fire. Then pour over his head the penalty of boiling water. Taste you this, truly were you mighty, full of honor. Truly, this is what you used to doubt. As to the righteous, they will be in a position of security.
among gardens and springs. Dressed in fine silk and in rich brocade, they will face each other. Moreover, we shall join them to companions with beautiful, big, and lustrous eyes. There can they call for every kind of fruit in peace and security. Nor will they there taste death, except the first death, and he will preserve them from the penalty of the blazing fire. As a bounty from your Lord, that will be the supreme achievement. Verily, we have made this Quran easy, in your tongue, in order that they may give heed. So, wait you and watch, for they too are waiting.